This is the David Lloyd Tennis School at Intusport.com. In this guide, we'll introduce you to the backhand volley. A volley is played before the ball bounces, so you don't have to worry about the bounce and whether the ball has spin on it, but you will have to develop good footwork to get the ball more quickly. The basic backhand volley is played close to the net, and if possible, when it's still above the height of the net. Hitting the volley from above the height of the net means that the ball can be hit down into your opponent's court, making it more difficult for them to return the ball. Since the backhand volley is played close to the net, you need to know how to get to the net in the first place. These scenarios are covered in the forehand volley guide, so if you haven't already watched it, you can watch it next. Let's start with the grip. When you volley, you need a continental grip for both backhand and forehand. Even if you have a two-handed backhand ground stroke, try to learn a single-handed backhand volley. The easiest way to find the continental grip is to hold the racket as if you are using the edge of the frame as the blade of an axe. If you're right-handed, hold the racket with the edge of the frame pointing at the ground and make sure the base of the V between your thumb and index finger is to the left of the center of the handle. For left-handed players, the V should be the right of center. The volley is a very short action. Some people liken it to a punch action. To do this though, you need to be balanced. Get to a ready position about two meters away from the net. Make sure your feet are about shoulders width apart and the racket is at waist to shoulder height in front of you with your elbows extended. Check you have a continental grip. Right, now you're prepared and in place. Let's look at hitting a backhand volley. Turn your shoulders slightly away from the ball and take your racket back to a position that's about level with your shoulder using your free hand to hold the racket up and keep the racket position firm. Move the racket towards the ball and shift your weight forwards and then extend your arm to contact the ball. Keep your wrist firm as the ball makes contact with your racket and move your free arm backwards as a reaction to the racket arm moving forward. Try to keep your racket head above your wrist because this will help keep your wrist in a strong position. Remember that the ball is traveling fast, so you need to meet it in a strong position. The action is a short, sharp contact with the ball, with your racket moving forwards and downwards, and unlike normal ground strokes, you don't need to swing the racket back before contact. If the ball has dropped below the height of the net, you'll need to adjust your position slightly. Bend your knees so you can still keep the racket head up and your wrist in a strong position, and aim to contact the ball to the side and in front of your body, punching the ball down into the court. After contact, your racket head should follow the ball and your front foot should move forwards to rebalance you. Aim to direct the ball away from your opponent, making their return as challenging as possible. You can volley down the line, cross court or back at your opponent's feet. Next, you need to be ready in case your opponent returns the ball, so move back after the volley so you're about two meters from the net again. Move quickly into the basic ready position with your racket head up and in a continental grip again quickly. So that's the backhand volley, let's recap. The backhand volley is hit close to the net and before the ball bounces. Hold the racket with a continental grip, even if you normally play backhand ground strokes with two hands. As you prepare for the shot, take the racket back to shoulder height with both hands and as you start the forward action, take your free hand off the racket. Remember that the volley action is short with very little backswing and a very short follow through and punch through the ball with your racket. As you punch through the ball with your racket, move your free hand back in the opposite direction. Make sure your weight moves forward as you contact the ball and try to hit the ball down into the opponent's court. So having learned how to volley on the backhand side, now watch the practice and drills before having a look at the other variations of the volley in the David Lloyd Tennis School at intersport.com. Intersports.com, the home of world-class sports coaching online.